My name is Stack Williams. I'm the CEO and founder of Supreme Being Inc. My purpose and mission when it comes to Supreme Being Incorporated essentially was at first to provide access and resources for young people. Um, and then as the time went along, it kind of morphed into something else based upon the needs in the marketplace. And I would see that uh, at least where we come from in Hartford, Connecticut, it's, um, it's very it's poverty stricken. It's a very tough environment. So I just wanted to elevate the quality of life for families and young people from underserved, underprivileged communities. So living in Hartford, Connecticut, it's, um, it's, it's really like any typical urban community across the country in terms of the high violence, high poverty, uh, low employment, um, poor test scores in the city. The, the, the educational achievement gap is by far the furthest in the country. Actually, Connecticut is number one in terms of the achievement gap from you know wealth to the poor. And so Hartford represents that poor perspective. And so um, this is where we come from. Yeah. Uh, so the accountability is extremely important for us because a lot of times, especially in the community that we come from, uh, there's a lot of finger pointing. And it's always this person's fault, that person's fault, and no one's taking responsibility for themselves or no one's being accountable for themselves or for their loved ones or things of that nature. And I think that if you want to arise or to ascend to in, in any way, in any industry in, in the world, or in your personal goals or objectives, you have to have accountability. So the work that we do is important because we do the things behind the scenes, at least within the space of athletics. We do the behind the scenes work that's not being done for the young people. So Supreme Beam offers, we have the, the mentoring component, we have consultancy for those who may be abroad and still are impacted or you know would like to be impacted from some of our work or our connections. And then we have the athletic development. And so now we do a lot of things off the record as well just because it's such a holistic approach. But in terms of our key areas that we focus on is the, the mentoring, the personal development piece, advocacy piece, and then the athletic development piece. We surround the young people around men and women who graduated college, come from the same communities, have access to those who the young people would like to have access to, things of that nature. So, and, and then we also help with providing um, summer jobs, uh, different, different things to help put them in position where they can minimize poor choices, right? So that's, that's helpful. My personal philosophy is like, I'm a man of the people. Like I, I serve the globe and I feel like as an individual, I'm talented enough to touch people in Rancho Cucamonga and Chicago, you know, in Detroit, uh, Louisiana, like because the knowledge in itself is transferable. So I could communicate the information and touch lives all over the world. Like I want to be, again, from a personal standpoint, I want to continue to make my parents proud of me. So I want to touch those lives in different parts of the country. And so they can, you know, that I was here, that I did something. From an agency standpoint, I want to leave a legacy behind that touched the lives of the, the of millions of people. And I think that we have such a unique uh, service that I think we're able to do that. And we've been doing a great job of that today, actually. Young, young people need some sort of structure and discipline because if they don't have that, they'll continue to stay all over the place, right? And it's natural, like, to kind of be, we're spirited, people we want to kind of jump and roll and kick and all that, but organized sports create a system where we can have a multitude of races of different people from different environments come together and govern by a specific set of rules and instructions and disciplines. So now we can all be on one accord and this one accord will help us because it's transferable to our personal lives. And so now we understand that um, before I do A, I got you know, before I do B, I got to do A. Before I do, like, you, you, there's a set, there's things that needs to happen prior to something else happening. Sports helps reinforce those disciplines to ultimately help parents as well. You know, to be honest with you, the, the most rewarding part of this work I'm still trying to find because I'm so engulfed in this process that I don't get a chance to like relax and say, wow, look at what we've done. Because I'm, there's always another young person who needs it, another young person, another family who's in a terrible position. They don't have access to anything. And like, so we're constantly working and like we've done some phenomenal things. But as the leader of the agency, I haven't really been able to sit back and, and just, wow, I, I haven't really got to, to that point yet. Yeah, winning, winning this grant has really, um, has really been a blessing for us because, again, our agency, you know, we're small. And so sometimes we don't attract the large grants that some of the other agencies does that's been around traditionally for decades. And so we've been around about 10 years now. And so this grant has allowed us, at least for this summer, to pay some bills, of course, 
um, but also take flights to take, bring the kids to provide access to go to University of Georgia, Penn State. We're going to Florida in a couple of weeks. Um, different, different um, Boston College, different colleges we've been able to attend with the aid of the grant. This grant has been an absolute blessing for us and we're extremely grateful. And we look forward to hopefully creating an even stronger relationship to open up doors for other opportunities through Gatorade. It's awesome. Uh, we, we're, we're, we were ecstatic about it. The grant allowed us to provide the service to a, a, a deeper depth in terms of with what we're able to provide the young people in terms of helping them get closer to their dreams, helping them realize what's possible. So the grant allowed us to, you know, take the young people on the road, take them in, a, in an airplane to different universities across the country, which has been tremendous for them because some of them have never rode an airplane or never been to these colleges. They've only seen them on TV on college game day. So now now they're able to physically be on the field and be in the locker room, put on the jerseys and touch the helmet. These things are going to th these these things can absolutely change a young person's life. Having organizations like Gatorade and Pay It Forward acknowledge a small organization like ourselves, it's extremely humbling um, because, I mean, we don't even supposed to exist in their radar. Like we don't even supposed to really even be a factor for them to recognize us. But a lot of it is a is a testament of the work. So you can't skip the work. And we put the work in consistently. We don't cheat. We don't cut corners. We put the work and we apply pressure. And so with someone like Victor Rosa doing what he did, uh, we apply pressure to the nation. Right. And, and we apply pressure. And so we made you have to see us because we're the best around here. So if you want to be associated with the best, then come tap in with us because this is what we're doing. We're creating the best. I, I think it's important to provide access um, to everyone when it comes to sports, because just from a just from an activity standpoint, just from a health standpoint, from that alone, I think that the foundation of it is important. That's one. Two, the relationships that are established through sports. That's beautiful. That's two. Three, it bridges the, the race gap. Right. I'm like for whatever reason, the U.S. is like it's, it's tough. It's tough when it comes to the race relations. Sports help eliminate all of that stuff. And that's been a beautiful thing about sports. Our process with mentoring the young people, it's very um, unique because it's a case by case situation. Some kids come from foster care, some kids come from living with relatives, some kids come from great households with both parents with more affluent communities. So each child has a different challenge for us to help them overcome. Nevertheless, we meet, we meet them head on, right? We speak to the head, not above the head. And so what we'll do is we identify what are some of the challenges, what are the obstacles, what are the, the goals that we assess that. And then we put in place different um, strategies to help uh, mitigate some of those things and help them overcome that. My name is Mark Jennings. 